good friend y'all a good friend is there for you not only in the fun times when things are good the weather's good the lights are shining bright the music's boo 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 friends are not only there during those times but they're, de they're there when you're struggling, y'all. Those are the true friends. The true friends are with you through thick and thin. Okay. They struggle got purpose and we grow. So whatever role we have to take next. All I need to know is that we'll roll with the punches. excuse me all right y'all we're back back for another episode of midwest anxiety daily and we're just uh we're out doing our thing today y'all we're out doing our community-based mental health things we're knocking on doors we're shaking babies hands no wait a second no it's kissing babies and shaking hands we're just doing our thing y'all we got running with randy we got friday conversation we got saturday morning donuts y'all we're in our flow we're in that michael jordan just step back and and swish or dunk or lebron james crossover you know we're just stefan curry just from half court threes right we're just in our flow we're doing our thing we're doing the mwa thing and we're having fun at it y'all we're having a lot of fun having a lot of fun we're just in the flow that's what they call the flow we're in our flow uh one thing though i'm really confused about i'm confused about this weather as you probably can see in my dress today uh it's february 21st in kansas city and i couldn't tell today if i could get a, away with just wearing a short sleeve shirt uh you know i got this winter vest on i got this short sleeve shirt i'm, I'm just i'm just confused y'all i'm just confused i'm confused about the weather i'd like to put on some shorts but as soon as i put on those shorts and start getting comfortable and get the flip-flops out you know what it's gonna be it's gonna be slam bam thank you ma'am here comes another winter storm so i still i think this is a tease but i'm enjoying it i hope you're enjoying this weather getting out walking going on some hikes uh, you know just taking the dog the kitty cat whatever you do taking them just just getting out getting out anyway uh let's get into today y'all let's get into today let's uh let's go see some clients yeah you want to put that dish in your mouth all right y'all let's talk about friends let's talk about good friends talk with clients all the time there's friends that come and go friends in low places uh, a good friend y'all a good friend is there for you not only in the fun times when things are good the weather's good the lights are shining bright the music's boo 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 friends are not only there during those times but they're de they're there when you're struggling y'all those are the true friends the true friends are with you through thick and thin okay and for you as a person if you're going through some struggles and your your friends are just kind of backing away or you're not hearing from as as much that's a signal to you to either uh reach out to them and say hey what's up friend hey hey i'm struggling hey hey uh, but you also just need to evaluate your friendship you need to evaluate your friendship uh there there's friends for different kinds of things and different kinds of seasons seasons all right y'all but true great friends are there for you both in the good times and the not so good times okay that's true friends friends do not let friends struggle friends do not let friends struggle all right y'all okay it's time for what's been coming up in client sessions all right, y'all what's been coming up in client sessions what's been coming up in client sessions it's the month of love it's february uh, i've been always talk with clients about this i've talked about this before uh, but i think i'm going to continue to talk about it because it's so so important energy y'all we've talked a lot about energy lately um, and i'm all for having as much energy as possible um, Here's the thing, to have as much energy as possible, one of the key things is keeping your heart open. 
keeping your heart open. It's the battle between your heart and your brain, your heart and your brain. And uh, think about it. Think about it. When you're in love, when you just had your, you know, your first crush, or you've got a boyfriend or girlfriend, and uh, it's just all new. We call it the honeymoon period. That heart's open, y'all. That heart is open, and you're, you know, there's certain things about this person where it might, you might get the ick, right? You might get the ick, but your heart stays open. Your heart stays open, and guess what? You just kind of let those ick things go. You let those ick things go. And your heart stays open it keeps staying open and you just have all this energy you're just bouncing around you're skipping you're holding hands you're doing the do -si do you're doing all that stuff why do you have so much energy because your heart's open y'all your heart's open blood is flowing through your heart blood and oxygen's flowing through your body oh we're just our heart is open we're doing the do -si do y'all to have all this energy, your heart stays open. But guess what? Sometimes what happens is things are said or things are done and that upset you. And your heart as a defense starts closing off. Starts closing off just a little bit. Starts closing off to protect you. Your heart starts closing off and guess what starts opening up? Your brain. Your heart starts closing off, your brain starts opening up, and you start having all these thoughts. You start having all these negative thoughts about that person or that activity, and you start, your, your brain starts kind of racing, your heart starts closing off, closes off more, the more of the ick that comes on, and your brain, oh, and it goes doom, doom. Sometimes it's like, the ick's like, you just breathing makes me ick, right? You just breathing makes me ick. Uh, or the way that you walk or the way that you chew food, right? It's just ick. And so your heart closes off more and more. As your heart closes off more and more, your brain opens up more and more. Your brain now is thinking about all these things and you have less energy. You have less energy, right? And because you have all this negativity going on, to protect yourself as a defense, your heart closes off, and when your heart closes off and your brain opens up, you have less energy, and then you don't wanna be around that person as much, or you don't wanna do that activity. Whatever it is, you close off to it, and now you close off to it, and uh, now you start avoiding it, and uh, you know this cycle now, this negative cycle has started, right? So what I am encouraging you to do is to keep the heart open as much as possible you know what they say is kill them with kindness kill them with kindness I think that's a great example of your heart staying open is when someone comes at you and they're negative maybe they say something that hurts you maybe they say something that just really isn't right um, you don't have to like just fight back and be as negative as them and and be as harmful as them of course I want you to put up boundaries I want you uh, to put up boundaries to protect yourself but you don't have to be mean you can still be emotionally neutral or positive with them all right and you can be genuine with this right you can be genuine with this um, but what we're doing here is we're keeping that heart open to keep you having energy to keep you having energy. This is not about the other person. This is not about the other situation. This is nothing outside of you. When we keep our heart open, no matter what, y'all, okay, I want you to listen to this. If you're distracted right now, whatever you're distracted by, okay, and I'm getting myself situated here because this is important to keep your energy going because when we get down, when we start struggling, we start closing ourselves off, we got to keep our heart open. We got to keep our heart open when the weather conditions aren't right. We got to keep our heart open when maybe we're going through financial trouble or relationship trouble or friendship trouble or romantic trouble. We got to keep our heart open. We got to keep loving. We got to keep L O V I N, loving. L O V I N, we got to keep loving because that's what keeps our energy going, okay? And we need energy. We need as much energy as we can in our life. We need as much energy. So you got to find ways to keep loving the situations that you're in, even when they're challenging. And maybe the sole reason you keep loving those situations 
is to keep yourself having as much energy as possible. That generally is one of the top reasons why I keep loving things is to keep having that energy because I do not like to be sapped of energy. I do not like to be closed off. I do not like to be face down on a couch or, or the blankets pulled up over me. I do not like that. And so I find ways to keep loving situations in a very genuine way, right? That's important to be genuine in your love, okay? Be genuine in your love and finding ways to keep loving those situations, all right? All right, y'all. Keep loving. Be more of a lover than a fighter. Be more of a lover than a fighter. I'm not saying don't have a shield up, uh, you know, and have boundaries, but you got to be loving. You got to be L-O-V-I-N. something uh, that I'm trying to get better at uh, pattern recognition y'all recognizing just patterns my day-to-day -day, just habits and patterns of myself and just what I do and how I think and how I feel and what I do I'm just really in this discernment uh, I'm just trying to be more self-aware really trying to hack the little 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 things in life I'm trying to hack the little things because I'm just thinking the more that I can self-improve the more that I can self-improve in my thoughts and my feelings and my behaviors the more that I can just slow down and recognize kind of almost like in a video game like as life plays out okay how's this going how's this going is this working for me is it working against me kind of like just how is life playing out is life in a positive am I winning am I getting a W here am I getting a loss you know just is how's life going I'm really putting a lot of focus and a lot of energy on that right now y'all and I think it's important I think it's important for you just to recognize your own patterns to be in this self-exploration to be curious about yourself like when you wake up in the morning what's your just automatic thought when you wake up in the morning like hey this is gonna be a good day or like oh I'm tired like I don't want to get out of bed do you reach for your phone and you get all the you get inundated with all the social media and all the things in the world or do you like okay this is how I want to live out my day this is how I want my day to go do you spend some time kind of just in that self-reflection like what's your go-to when you for lunch what's your general go-to for lunch right or is it is it some healthy is it something salty is it something quick is it some convenient uh, who are the people in your life that you spend the most time with you know they say you know you're the you're the average of the the five people that you spend the most time in your life with like like you know uh, are you more just an optimist or a pessimist right just all of these just different things be curious about yourself learn about yourself push pause every once in a while on just the craziness of life and just spend some time with yourself and just really think about your thoughts and how you think your feelings and your behavior y'all you owe it to yourself because here's what I think the more self-aware we are the more we recognize our patterns and adjust for those patterns that don't work out well for us keep doing those things that are working out but adjust for the patterns that don't I think that the more those those things happen the more that we just will have a better quality of life life will just be better in lots of ways right sure there'll be things in our life that come at us there'll be things that come at us that aren't good they're they're bad they're ugly but our reaction and our way that we live our life day to day will ultimately be better the more self-aware we are all right all right y'all <laughs>